We're now going to go over to self-service together. So please log into self-service, select student planning, and then plan and register for courses. I'm going to join over in self-service in a test account, so bear with me. It's not, um, let me move this over. So you should be in your account. I'm on the advising side. So if you go to the course planning piece, you should hopefully see your fall 2022. And you should hopefully soon see a banner that tells you your registration date for the next semester. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to use the program planning guide that I've asked you to print out or save on your computer. And we're get, going to begin planning our next semester courses. And eventually we will use the self-service tool to plan for our degree. So if I, for example, let me just pull this over quickly. If I look at the program planning guide, and I want to take BPR 230, CMT 210, and CMT 212, those are spring classes that I know I want to get fit in this spring. I'm going to come over to the search bar in the top right corner, and I'm just going to put in BPR 230. And when I see that class on the list, it should be the one at the top. I'm going to go to plan, and I'm going to take that course next semester. So pick the semester you plan to take that course and hit plan course. Then I said we would do CMT 210. So put the three letters, three numbers of the course, hit plan course, hit spring. This is a spring only class. And let me do CMT 212. Now, if you'll remember, this particular course had a co-requisite. There's the warning that says it has to be taken at the same time as this other class. So I'm going to put those three classes onto my spring plan. Very important here. This is where I need everybody to just do a little bit of a self-analysis. Is the number of classes that you are taking now appropriate for your needs and given your time commitments? So some students probably were too heavy in the fall and they need to drop down the number of credits. Some students are a little light and they can take more. But the goal here is for you to enroll in the number of credits that you think that you can reasonably keep up with and pass all of those classes end of semester okay so this is not about every student having an identical plan to get their degree we're all going to be individual you can um, attend part-time and you could take several years you could attend nights you could attend online all of those factors are going to play into your personal degree plan here so give some thought to what an appropriate number of credits would be for you so that you are being successful here. You need D or better for these classes to count. If you have added all the classes that you think you're going to take in the spring, um, you know, whether it's three, four, five, and you go to the timeline view, you're going to see the BPR 230, the CMT 210, and the CMT 212 there. Now, keep in mind, again, I'm in a dummy account that other people have used. But you should see whatever courses you've planned for your degree listed in your spring course. And then you can add summer and fall and so on. And you're going to work through the program planning guide and the, all of the requirements that are part of your degree. And you're just going to use the search button. And you're going to keep adding courses until you have your entire degree planned. Okay, and if you have, say, English 111, and you type it in, you can go into plan course, and you could take that summer, or fall, or next spring, etc. So you're going to see this option all the way down for all of the courses that you start to plan. Now, 
up here there's a drop down a little bit different than my view where you're going to see my progress and if you go to my progress you're going to see your degree at the top your cumulative gpa your program gpa etc this is the same degree requirements that we had just seen on paper in an electronic form the only difference is that the degree requirements here are by subject area whereas on the paper form they're by semester and when you complete something the whole area is going to collapse and just show completed so this student has completed english it collapsed and there's not all these choices um, the way we would read this three credits from a humanities or a philosophy Three credits means one course. So when this student planned ethics, this course, sorry, this area is now fully planned toward degree. Required to take a communications, three credits from this list, that's one course. This student wants to take this class and now it's fully planned toward the degree. Math, they only need one math class or one course that is three or more credits. Now 171 is four credits, but that's okay. Putting the math class on the plan means it's now fully planned. Okay, um, so you'll kind of carry on. Let me show you your major requirements. Technical core, 12 credits, three, six, nine, 12 credits. So in this area, you don't have choice. You're gonna take all four, and then it's gonna show you fully planned. Program major, 13 credits, same idea, three, three, four, and three. You'll need to fully plan all four classes to see fully planned. And then there are nine courses under the other required. That's where our ACA 115 is. But again, these nine courses, we'll get those all fully planned. And then there's an other where you can choose between the two. Okay, so the goal here is to have all of these required sections of your degree to say fully planned at the end. You do not want classes to fall in under other necessarily because that means they're not counting toward the degree. So um, this history 151 is not counting toward the student's degree because there's not a history requirement. So we really don't want you planning classes that are not working toward the degree at this point, okay? If you have any questions, reach out as you're working through this process. I know it will take a while, but when you have it all planned out, as far as this timeline, these can slide around so you can easily edit and revise your plan as needed. Um, but this way you're going to see all of the degree requirements and about how long it's going to take you to get that degree. When you have finished putting your full degree into self-service, it will save in your account, okay? And then um, from an assignment perspective, you're going to go back into that folder and there is this assignment link here. You do this assignment link once all of the credits associated with your degree are in self-service and all the prerequisites are met, okay? So when you click on that and hit begin, these are just questions that are checks and balances to make sure you've looked at everything you can look at. And when this is submitted, I'm gonna log into your self-service account and take a look at your degree plan and give you feedback. Okay, if you have any additional questions, reach out.